General Pipe Cleaner's Gen I Pod Video Pipe Inspection and Location Systems are ideal for inspecting and locating buried sewer lines and pipes. You'll know what the problem is, where it is, and how deep to dig. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Gen I Video Pipe Inspection and Location Systems. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Geni can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Be sure the unit is plugged into a grounded outlet Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord no more than 50 feet in length. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Never use the camera in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Do not operate the camera while standing in water. Do not use the equipment in confined areas where combustible or toxic fumes may be present. Be wary of buried power lines, utilities, and other hazards. Before you dig, contact OneCo and any utility companies that do not subscribe to OneCo. Have all underground pipes and cables located and marked before digging in the area. Read the operator's manual before using the equipment. Contact General Pipe Cleaners if you have any questions about the operation, maintenance, or equipment use. Be sure to clear the line to be inspected with a drain cleaning machine or water jet before beginning the inspection. This protects the camera from getting caught or damaged in the line. To begin the inspection, position the Gen I pod near the drain opening. Open the monitor case and position the monitor for best viewing angle. Connect the AC or DC power cords to the camera system at the core of the reel. The unit will power up automatically you can troubleshoot three to 10 inch lines with the standard reel. Or inspect smaller two to four inch lines using the mini reel. If the pipe is large enough, be sure to use the three inch skid. It protects the camera head from abrasion and helps it slide around traps. If the pipe is larger than four inches in diameter, you should use the six inch skid included with standard reels or the optional skids for 6, 8, and 10 inch lines. Release the reel lock and loosen the drag brake. Then slide the camera into the line. Be sure that the push rod is rated for the size pipe you are inspecting. Be careful not to force the camera around tight bends. If you see an obstruction, stop. Do not attempt to clear the pipe by using the camera head as a battering ram. Always use the proper tool for the job. Adjust the camera light level by using the LED dimmer control located on the hub of the pod. The optional self-leveling camera automatically keeps the picture right side up as the camera glides through the line. You always have an upright picture on the monitor, making it easier for you and your customers to follow the action. If you want to record the inspection, the Gen I pod has a video out connection that can be connected to an external recording device. Or the systems with a Wi-Fi option allow you to view and record the inspection on your smartphone or tablet. Be sure to read the complete instruction manual before operating the Gen I pod. If you have questions, you can always call the drain brains. Once you see the trouble area, now it's time to locate it. Watch part two of this video to learn how to use the Gen I Hotspot Pipe Locator. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line. <laughs>